Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I couldn't have said any better than that. That's that's exactly exactly what it is, and not to mention that comes with yeah, trusting trusting your teammate too. Like, can he hold that lane? It's it's a big thing. It especially with pros, like you have to be able to trust your teammate. If you don't trust your teammate, it's going to cause a lot more things to be able to fall apart. But you know, moving on from that, we're we're going right into this map three. It will be control raid, the side of Odd Future. They've been they've been putting in a stomping right off the rip from from steel city steel city looking like they're getting melted at at 3000 degrees at the moment i'm not sure if that's actually the melting point of steel but you know i i just thought i went along with it wait 2 seconds right um <laughs> i'll search it up now oh oh you're actually going you're going to search what the <laughs> melting point of steel is i well, guarantee you it is not it yeah. is not 3000 i guarantee you it's probably a lot lower than that but right, right off the rip where i'm i'm sitting on to youtube or wait, who am i with yeah i'm with youtube a- a- anahum anahum uh I'm not exactly sure i'm just going to call him uh, yt as it seems like once again the side of excuse me of steel city they're just they're they're just getting bullied out of the points. D Hearn, he he had a very solid map one, but right now, ever since the map two, he he's been on a whole nother level. He's been slaying out. He's been winning his ones, especially you saw it at the end of map two. He got that nasty double to to essentially close out the series in that six one fashion, or not series the map. But right now, once again, the kills they're all in favor of odd of odd future. You, you see it nineteen to ten. It's once again, not even a close contest. Well, just to um, spruce up a bit on your <laughs> on your theory of um, steel's melting point. I mean, it says carbon steel is one thousand four hundred twenty-five to one thousand five hundred and forty degrees Celsius. And oh, so I, I actually might be pretty steel close. Is well, stainless steel is one thousand five hundred and ten degrees Celsius. What is it? What is it in Fahrenheit? I need to know. I because okay. because that's the funny thing. Americans do everything differently. <laughs> we're just like we're like fuck it. We're making. Excuse me, expression. You swear it. Uh, we're like screw it. Wow. We're, we're making our own system. Carbon steel is two thousand six hundred to two thousand. Well, two thousand. Well, two thousand eight hundred. Sorry, guys, I'm stuttering a little bit. <laughs> but um, I, how do I get a map? Wait. Oh, well, right now, stick it. Going back into the game, uh, it actually seems like the side of Steel City. They're doing a pretty good job. They oh, they almost got the second tick on A, but Gome Dog, he will be the the playmaker once again for the side of odd future. He had to win a key one V one. And just like that, you see the side of, of odd future, not getting that second tick. That's going to be huge, but the also B is also getting capped up. It seems like there is a double stack, which I love to see Gome dog with a nasty drop shot, but BVD and YouTube, they're doing a solid job. They're holding it down. They're doing exactly what they need to and B it's already has two and a half ticks through. So, Steel City, they know exactly what they want to do on offense, and and just like that, they they cap that B side, which is, I mean, for a lot of these lower tier amateur, is like the one side you don't want to give up. But if you're if you're at that higher tier level, you you're okay with giving up the B side and defending this A. Uh, but already one tick is off, and it in in this type of perspective, Gome Dog, he he really did go big because it's going to be huge. The fact that that second tick did not go through and they have to go through and get two full ticks but right off the rip you see the defense it's holding strong for the side of of odd future even though the the lives are not in their advantage i mean steel did do a good job of getting at least two on a two players on a and two players on b i mean with our split there i mean it does draw the attention over to one of the two gun uh one of the two um sites I mean, they could either decide to, well, Odd Future could decide to send two over towards B or A or whatever, or they could send decide to um decide to send three over to the one bomb side, depending on well, not bomb side, you know what I mean, but um, depending on how many players are there. But I mean, 
Oddview Dra doing a good job of holding down these zones. I mean, yeah, they might have lost B in the process, but I mean, as you said, Gomdog is doing a pretty good job. He's nine and seven at the moment. He's got five OBJ kills. But we'll see what he can do now just to keep that A point on lock. Just so his teammates get the well, can manage to get over there to help him out, but you see number eight who is Fur G, who is on a pinch and does shut down um, Gomdog. So, now Seal City should have the break onto A, well, on the A side. And um, Odd Future shut well. They're coming off spawn, so they won't be able to do much. I mean, you do have number four who is Germ XS, who's inside their art, and Dehern, um, who is on point, but Odd Future do manage to take the round and they do go up 2 0. Steel did give a good bounce back at least just to get those couple of kills and just to get that flag control, well, that point control, but it wasn't enough to overcome the strong side of Odd Future. Mm, and I mean, what happened to the lives? Like, no joke, after that B was capped, the side of uh. The side of Steel City, they had a 14 to 12 life advantage, and then that game ended with them being down by six. So to me, that just shows that they're they're not working for those individual picks and they're not isolating the players that they need to, that like like you said, were, roam, were roaming art or 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 that left side of the map by garage or, or weights. They need to be able to recognize, hey, we got to isolate this. And oh my goodness, Gome Doc just double headies, two members in this A. It's going to get relatively ca- or capped up relatively fast as, as three members right off the rip go down. Over towards the A gunfire. I mean, he does find one. Will he be able to find a second? Yes, he does. But he does get naded by Gome Dog. I mean, that's a big need uh, from the side of Odd Future. I mean, it does get him able to get that extra bit of time over on the A side. But we are going to jump on with Gumdog, who is now 12 and 9, currently on a 3 streak as well, with 7 OBJ kills. And he might be able to find the 8th. Yes, he does. Maybe, potentially the ninth, but no, he does get naded. So, well, we'll switch, switch over to Ale now, who's 13 and 9, on a, currently on a 2 streak, who is trying to break this B side. But he does get pinched, but the trades do come in. And and working on this B site, this one is particularly once once the side of the offense, if they have numbers and they win those like initial two v threes, it is really hard for for a defense to be able to break in. It's you really got to be able to figure out where the weakest side of the defense is. And, you know, work for a picks. I've seen a lot of the pro teams, they they have one person who wide peeks out of basketball uh, on defense. If there's, you know, multiple members in like laying down where they can't get shot from from bank or something like that. So it, it's a very but it's usually very difficult. If you have two, three members on the hill on the B site as the offense, like you're in a good spot. I, I can definitely say that. And right now the good spot is is actually looking kind of in favor of. Ale does find a big kill there over on the B side, though. I mean, he is in the elbow. In elbow, he does try pushing basketball, but that's and does shut him down pretty quickly. And Fergie does follow up with Dehern, and there's three kills on the side of Seal City. I mean, they're doing a good job of defending the point, and they both, they all players are on their last lives now, so they've got to make every life count if they can. And Dead Center does find a big kill there on Gome Dog. And if you look at the bottom left of your mini map, number two and four, Ale and Germs, they've been they've been working on this pinch for for a hot minute. And if it pays off, uh, it, it, this could be huge. This can allow like double stacks to come in. And so now it's essentially going to be a two v two. One respawn remaining. Gome Dog knows Fur is sitting down low, and oh, he just looks the wrong way. So now no respawns is essentially a four v three now. Since D Hearns and Germs, oh, they get the two kills. It's a three v two. One with dead sent. I mean, he's fifteen and eighteen. Um, we'll see what he can do now. See if he can defend this B point and stop the push. I mean, you do have dead hurt and A just outside of the point, but Odd Future do manage to take that game, and that is a three zero. So, 
And I mean, I mean that's a that that's the series. That's it. They're going to the championship. They're going in deep for the sixty dollar prize pool. I'm excited to be able to see it. I mean, honestly, I thought Steel were gonna put up a bit more of a fight.